Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Dimensions. It's been about an hour since last episode, and according to my math, I can get enough time theorems for time dilation, which is the next mechanic. And about time dilation, um, this is the point where I want to split my series into three, and I'm very excited because I'm going to play the mods for the first time, and I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous for two reasons. First of all, my computer could go bad if I run a lot of things at once. And second of all, I'm worried about New Game Plus Plus Plus. Because every time I try to import a New Game Plus Plus Plus, even when I do a workaround that um, fixes a glitch where it gives you a free upgrade, um, it just it's just much, 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 much faster than it should be. And also, um, in Super Spruce's video, um, it was much faster than it should be, but that was because of a different upgrade, apparently. I'm nervous. And, um, so, one, and so, I'm already on new game updates, so importing this to the main game shouldn't be a problem. So here we go. Three, two, one. And this unlocks the t a tab under Eternity. And now... This is why I want to split the series, because these two upgrades do not exist in the main game, and neither do these. Well, apparently there's new Eternity upgrades, but maybe not. Um. Oh, and this doesn't exist in the main game either. All of this is new game update stuff. There should be new Eternity upgrades, but um, apparently there isn't. So... What we're going to do is we're going to set up a new build. This is for dilation. Um, well, it's only for, like, specific parts of dilation, but we want to start like this, um, and then like that. And then we want to go like this. And then, I think here. So it's slightly different to our Eternity Challenge 11 build. Um, and, um, we're going to dilate time. And in the main game, there's a confirmation for this. And here's what it does. It takes your dimensions multipliers, your tick speed, your infinity dimension multipliers, and your time dimension multipliers, and it raises them to the power of zero. It raises their exponent to the power of 0 0.75. And then based on how much antimatter you have in this mode, you can gain tachyon particles, which produce dilated time, and dilated time can be spent on these upgrades, and these first three are repeatable. These two don't exist in the main game. But the first dilated run, where we have to reach eternity, by the way, can take a while, so yes, you in a bit. And after that, we're going to split the series. Okay guys, I'm back, and I have enough infinity points to disable dilation. But, I don't really want to do that, because as soon as we disable dilation, it will start producing dilated time, which gives us dilated galaxies. And I don't really want to do anything in dilation until I've imported... Okay guys, I'm back, and I've been recording for over an hour, um, and it's been like half an hour since the last recording, but I've not just got my achievements, but I've got everything. This is including my New Game++ plus 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 stuff. And, um, so we have, so we now have, um, all our achievements, including one for dilating time, and we can see why the last row doesn't exist, and we can disable dilation for tachyon particles. So, I'm going to do that, and then we are going to... We, oh, also we 
don't have the new Eternity upgrades. I found them in the New Game Update game. We don't have the thing that says Black Hole. So we're going to disable dilation for the tachyon particles. Um, and then it's going to start producing dilated time, which gives us di free galaxies. But, guys, I'm just so emotionally exhausted from all the trouble I had to go through to do this, so I'm terribly sorry, but I will see you guys later. Bye!